after you've done the initial task plan, sorry, Gantt chart, let me shrink that again. The next thing we're going to want to do is actually just scroll down. And again, for me, I'm going to have two separate Gantt charts. One is going to be initial task plan and one is going to be actual plan. When it comes to it, I'm going to actually show you guys how to just put both of them on the same Gantt chart. But as it stands now, I'm going to leave it as it is. The next stage is simply to have a copy of our logbook. So this is a document you're going to be given and this is going to be your logbook, right? The first thing I recommend anyone do before they start typing anything is let me just zoom out on mine. I'm going to create. Oh, that's a bit too much. All right. Let's say about once it gets to one page there, I'm going to make copies of this logbook here. Reason being however many days my exam is going to span across, that's the amount of logbooks I'm going to have. So let's just say I'm going to have four sessions, four days. I'm going to have four logbooks. What I'm going to do is just always make sure I have a fresh empty one. So I'm going to copy two or three times and leave it at that. So I'm going to simply put my mouse where it says activity two. I'm going to create a new page. And to do this, you can either keep pressing enter until it moves it all the way down. But I have a better way. Press and hold control on your keyboard and then simply press the enter key once that moves it down one whole page at a time. Then I'm going to go back up. I'm going to highlight all the stuff I need for the logbook. So let's say it stops there. So highlight the logbook you need. Right click. I'm going to go to copy. I'm going to go to that blank page which was just created because I moved everything down and I'm going to simply right click here and go paste. And I think it's that one. And now I have an extra logbook. I'm going to do this a few more times just to make sure that I have an empty logbook, about three or four of them. If you don't need it, if you don't use it, you can always come back and delete it. But I recommend just having the blank space there because we don't, you don't really want to start moving stuff around once you started typing already. So again, I'm going to go scroll down towards activity two, put my mouse there, press and hold control on my keyboard and press the enter key once that's moved it down. Because I've already copied it, it's still saved in memory. I'm going to simply click here at the very top where activity two was right click and I'm going to go to paste and I'm going to do that a few more times and I'll scroll down to activity two. Press and hold control on my keyboard, press enter to move everything down one page. So this is why we have the blank page at the top here. Click at the very top, right click and then do paste. I should have about three or four of them. So I'm going to stop now, but let me let me just double check. So this is activity two. I know that this is a part of activity one. So that's one thing there. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. And this is all of it. So I don't need any more. So I'm going to leave it as it is for now. There is a very small mistake in this document. It says cut and paste the table as required. I would say copy and paste instead. Don't cut the table because if, if you made a mistake before and you started um, actually typing stuff, so if you cut it and forget to paste it and copy something else, that's completely gone. So I recommend don't cut and paste. I'm going to change this to copy and paste because copy still leaves the original version there. So if you make a mistake, it's always going to be there. Now it's time to start filling in the table. So let's read the instructions here quickly. During each session, please complete the following logbook, duplicating the table as required for each session. Remember to update the project time plan or the Gantt chart at the start of each session. So we're supposed to go back again, keep going back to the activity one, to keep going back to the Gantt chart. And again, if activity one only took one hour, we go and change it from where we had. What do we have for activity one? We had an hour and a half. If it only took one hour, we come in and change this. But again, I'll show you guys that when we get to activity two, for example, you fill the date in as well. And then what have I done this session? This needs to be more than just I made Gantt chart. I read booklet, right? This can be used to an extent. What I would recommend is every single thing you do, you just quickly make a bullet point of that thing. So you can always come back later on and expand on it because you don't want to, you might not want to keep going back and forth each time. So simply said, I read booklet. That would be the first thing I read booklet. Um, I made notes, I made notes or I highlighted, I highlighted things, I made a Gantt chart, whatever it is that you've actually done, we're going to come back and this is where we're going to put it. Next, it says issues encountered this session and solutions with justification. So the issues that you came up against, what solution did you find and why was that solution? So just justification just means why. So let me just put why in brackets here. Justifications mean why was this solution the one that you chose? 
and then finally we have action points for next session simply again i would bullet point this starting off and i would always come back and have fully fledged sentences or a paragraph at the very end actions action points for the next session simply means what do you plan to do the next day or the next session